All right, Mike, and right now Panama City is almost empty, and that's where Hurricane Michael is expected to make landfall tomorrow. Most homes and businesses are boarded up. Most people have evacuated. Action News Jack's Russell Colburn is live in East Point, a few miles east of Panama City. Russell, the wind is picking up where you are right now. Oh, yeah, big time. We headed west from Carabelle. Now we're in East Point. Take a look at this. You may be able to hear and see the wind and blowing my clothes. Look at this. The choppy surf coming up to these rocks here. The locals say this is normally a beach, but right now it's just completely covered right now. Very choppy and, and really high. The water rising all over this area. And uh, the first alert weather team actually telling me just moments ago that this area could easily see between 8 and 13 feet of storm surge tomorrow. So once that happens, of course, we'll be getting out of here. And I want to show you over here the uh, Florida Highway Patrol just past the first alert storm tracker here. The Florida Highway Patrol blocking off what is this bridge to St. George Island. That's shut down right now in this area under a mandatory evacuation for Franklin County. And we've been all over this area in the last couple hours. We saw basically Carabelle, a ghost town. Uh, as I mentioned, that's a few miles east of here. Uh, businesses boarded up, sandbags, gas for, no gas for several miles in that area. Sewer was cut off for people there at 3 o'clock today. This is an area we're going to continue to cover. We just spoke with a couple locals who do plan to ride out the storm. We'll be bouncing around time, town speaking with more people who plan to stay here, asking them why they plan to stay here despite the mandatory evacuation. We'll have more coverage for you coming up tonight at 10 and 11. For now, reporting live, Russell Colburn, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jax.